AL. Hi everyone, I'm Paul Marston Tomlinson. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. Let us pray. Kind eternal Father, we are truly excited about you and your words. I pray that as we learn of you, our hearts will be transformed. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today we're looking at practicing battlefield prayer. And what better time to learn battlefield prayer than now? In concluding his battle exhortation, Paul urges believers, and you know he sees us as soldiers, to participate in crucial continuing prayer, prayer for all saints, and prayer for himself as an imprisoned ambassador. The call to prayer can be seen as an extension of the military imagery, since calling out to God in prayer was a common practice in ancient battlefield. Now, to cite an example, we can look at 2 Corinthians 20, verse 18. When Jehazel and Joseph leads all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem in falling down before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. While prayer is not the seventh piece of armor, it is an integral part of Paul's battle exhortation and military metaphor. The first of two prayer requests Paul asks the addresses to participate in fervent, urgent, and persevering prayer for all saints. My brothers and sisters, if the church is to be successful in its battle against the power of evil, it will need to practice dependence on God through spirit-inspired prayer. And secondly, it was a prayer request for himself and also for me. He asked for prayer that God might grant him the right message. That word may be given to me at the right time, that's in my, in my mouth, delivered at the right time, and for him to boldly proclaim the word of God, and in addressing a most important theme, the mystery of the gospel. This last phrase refers to what we might call the open secret of God's intervention in Christ to redeem Gentiles along with Jews creating one new humanity as a signal of the overarching plan to unite all things in Christ. My brothers and sisters, why are believers so often urged to participate in earnest, persevering prayer? Paul's military metaphor suggests two answers. The threat of spiritual battle against an array of supernatural enemies and we know that we are fighting against the enemy and it's a spiritual warfare. And of course, God's promises of spiritual strength and victory are illustrating through Paul's military imagery. And next, persevering prayer provides opportunity for us to listen carefully to these promises, to celebrate them, and to thank God for the resources of grace and that, my friend, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that you have given us a powerful tool, that of prayer. May we be earnest in praying to you so that we can stand up against the wires of the devil. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayers we pray as we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. It was a pleasure having you for another episode of Alpha. Do join us tomorrow when we will look at another area in this warfare. God bless you. A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m.